Hello everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. This will be our continuation in our discussion, Simplifying Radicals. So this will be the exercises in rationalizing denominator. So make sure that you watch our first video before watching this. In this video, we're going to answer the following problems. One, two, three, four. If you master our previous topic, then you can answer numbers one, two, three, four. Pause the video, then after answering grades and watching, to check your answers. Now, let's check number one, or let's solve number one. To rationalize the denominator, let us find first the equivalent of this radical. So that is equivalent to square root of A all over square root of 3B. Next, we are focusing in our denominator. Find a radical that if we're going to multiply in our denominator, will give us a perfect square expression. So in here, we're going to multiply into square root of 3b in the denominator and in our numerator. So that it will give us a perfect expression in our radical. Now, multiply square root of 3 times 3 will give us 9. B times B will give us B squared. And our numerator, square root of A times 3B gives us 3A. Simplifying, Copy the numerator, square root of 3ab, all over square root of 9, that is 3. Square root of b squared, that is b. This will be our final answer. Square root of 3ab all over 3b. Now, maybe you will ask, sir, can I cancel 3 and 3? No. You cannot cancel that. Next, number two, cube root of three over five. Step by step, cube root of three all over cube root of five. Our index is three, so we need to find a number that if we're going to multiply in our radical in the denominator, will give us a perfect cube. So that is cube root of cube root of what? Twenty-five. So twenty-five and twenty-five. Why twenty-five? Because twenty-five times five is one hundred twenty-five. And 125 is a perfect cube. So this will give us cube root of 5 times 25, 125. And cube root of 3 times 25, 75. So we have cube root of 75 over cube root of 1 to 5 is 5. Okay, will be our final answer. Next, number 3. In number 3, we're going to get the conjugate of our denominator. So the shortcut just multiply it to square root of x, our denominator, then change the sign, minus square root of y. Square root of x minus square root of y. 
Now multiply 5 times square root of x, that is 5 square root of x. 5 times negative square root of 5, negative uh, square root of y, negative 5 square root of y. Over the square root of x times square root of x, that is square root of x squared. Next, square root of x times negative square root of y, negative square root of xy. Next, negative y times square root of x, that is positive square root of xy. And last, negative times positive, negative square root of y times y, y squared. Now simplify our numerator and denominator. So 5 square root of x minus 5 square root of y all over negative square root of xy plus square root of xy. This will give us 0. Square root of x squared, square root and squared will be cancelled out. So x minus square root and squared will be cancelled out, the remaining will be y. And this will be our final answer. And for our last number, find the conjugate, so multiply it to 9 minus square root of 5, 4 method. So, 3 times 9, 27. 3 times negative square root of 5, negative 3 square root of 5. The square root of 3 times 9, that's negative 9 square root of 3. And negative square root of 3 times negative square root of 5, positive square root of 15. 3 times 5, that is 15. Over 9 times 9, this is 81. 9 times negative square root of 5, that is negative 9 square root of 5. Positive square root of 5 times 9, positive 9 square root of 5. And positive times negative, negative square root of 5 times 5, 25. Now, combine like terms. I'll simplify the numerator and denominator. So in our numerator, can we simplify square root of 15? So do we have a factor that is a perfect square? None. Just copy 27 minus 3 square root of 5 minus 9 square root of 3 plus square root of 15 over, so negative 9 square root of 5 will be cancelled out. That will give us 0. And 81 minus square root of 25, that will give us 5. And for our final answer, 27 minus 3 square root of 5 minus 9 square root of 5 plus square root of 15 over 81 minus 5, that is 76. This will be our final answer. So that's on how to rationalize the denominator. Your next lesson will be the addition and subtraction of radicals. Stay tuned.